Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. We request a title, find the cloud upload for secure authorized user application. We want to upload. Data duplication is one of the most important data compression techniques for eliminating duplicate copies of citizen data and this may allow you to cloud storage to reduce the amount of storage space and save bandwidth. To protect the confidentiality of citizen data by supporting the duplication, the conversion encryption technique is being proposed to encrypt the data to power out. To better protect the data security, the token needs to close the country's primary address of citizen and authorized data duplication. The point of prediction of the duplication system for the punishment of the services are further considered in the duplicate of the data. We also perform several new duplication constructions to support an author's duplicate in a hybrid data. Security analysis demonstrates that the screen is secure in terms of the definition of the model. The first of the concept is to implement the prototype of the first author's duplication system. And conduct specific experiments with new algorithms. We show that our course approaches to this system in fact minimizes the impact of normal operations. This is the topic. First, data owner will get the file and will generate the path for getting the token from the private server. Data owner will access the private server by sending file path. Private server will get the file path from the data owner and will generate the token. And share the token to the data owner. The owner will will get the token first, and encrypt the data based on token, and will store the data into public server based on token. And public server will perform security check if the file is already available or not. File is already available. The data owner needs to perform proof of ownership. Otherwise, file will be stored in the public server database. Let's start execution of project. So, can start execution by clicking the start debugging button. This is the login panel of the user. User should provide email ID and password to login into the panel. The user is not registered. User should provide user details into a new user form. So, I am providing uh, details of user here. Contact number of the user and address of the user and select the identity role of the user and I am providing the uh, identity number for the selected role. And I am providing the email ID of the user. password and I am selecting the profile picture of the user which is the an image and selected image will be display here and I am by clicking sign up button we can register the details into the database and here we can view the saved details from the database so I'm providing. I want to log in panel. I'm providing registered email ID and password to log into the panel. This is the home page of the user. First, how to get the file to store, which is to be stored into a public server. So I'm getting any file from the system. And I'm getting the file details here. And file details such as file name, creator date and time, access time, type of the file, size of the file, location of the file, and full name of the file that is full path of the file with name. And we are saving the details into the database. If the file is already existing in the database, it will show my shell box is file already exists. Uh, so we can move on to file tag generation. Here I am generating file tag based on file name and yes, login the user.
ID and I am clicking the right button to write the details. These details into a database and write these details as a text file. And I am sending this file tag to the private server. Before that, how to create a folder as hybrid cloud files uh, for the both uses such as uh, data owner, private server and public server. And, and we can empty this folder. create empty folder for the e drive so for sending the file tag to the private server and we have to execute the private server and this is the private server panel we have to select the receive path to receive the file tag from the receive sender so i'm selecting the private server which is already we have created empty folder so i'm clicking the start receiving start the receiving the sender file now after selected path how to load the file to send to the private server so i am loading the file tag which is created already so it will send to the private server this is the communication process from between private server and receiver next we have to generate the token private server will generate the token based on the file tag which is received from the client so i am looking for the file tag we can get the file tag which already sent and generate the token based on received file tag this is a user id and file tag based on this user id and file tag we are generating the file token and we are saving the details into a database and saving the details as a text file and next to share token and from for share the token to the client uh, we have to select receive the path as a data owner and start receiving to start the receiving of the file so I'm, now i am getting the token this is the file token selecting the file token to send the file to the data server And file is transferred. Now we can close the private server. And by clicking view token, we can get the token of the file. And next is file encryption. File encryption is uh, then for this store the, the file into the public server. So I am reading the original file now. This is the original file. I am generating the key for encryption the original text I am clicking encrypt button the message will be encrypted and the encrypted message will be stored in as a text file into a client set so next is a privilege key a privilege key is mainly for uh, pr to prove the ownership of the file into a public server during deduplication process so I am getting the time based privilege and role based privilege these privileges get based on the file so I am saving the details and viewing the file with the file from these key details and I am generating the key and encrypting the privileges encrypted successfully and next we are uploading the encrypted file into a public server for that how to execute the public server so I am debugging the public server now we have how to select the receive path in public side for receiving the encrypted file from the client side. So I am selecting the received path as public server to so start receiving and by clicking view file received encrypted file before that we have to send the file. So we are loading the encrypted file to transfer into a cloud. So encrypted file. So, file is transferred and here we are, can view the file, encrypted file. This is the received encrypted file. And next one is uh, deduplication process. For deduplication process we are getting the file tag and 
uh, by clicking duplicate check file storage allowed that is file is already not available so file storage allowed so here we can store the file into a database 